How's it going everyone? It's Abdallah here, bringing you guys a full Let's Play of the game, ARMS for Nintendo Switch. Now in this tutorial and video playlist, we are going to give you guys full-on gameplay of the Grand Prix with every single character, while providing tips and tricks along the way. So stay tuned to it, watch every single episode, it's going to be awesome. And to put a cherry on top of that, we're going to be doing a giveaway as we always do with brand new games. So, in order to enter the giveaway, smash that like button, leave a comment, share the video, and check out the links in the description so you can find more ways of increasing your odds of winning. So let's do this, let's do this. I'm excited for it. Uh, thanks to Nintendo of America, we had the opportunity to play ARMS for a long time before the game released. And now we can show some pretty decent skills at the game while uh, providing tips and tricks. So let's do this. First episode is all about Springman. He's a very cool dude. He uh, He's the Mario of the game. He's pretty much all round. No, not too many drawbacks, not too many super good strengths, but we'll get into his special abilities in a little bit. Right off the bat, if you take a look at his colorations, we got an alternate uh, blonde color, you've got a green coloration, and of course you have a, uh, look up, another green combination. So it looks cool. For continuity's sake, we're going to go with the standard. And of course, when it comes to difficulties, it's, uh, it's hard to choose which one. Obviously, if you're a beginner, you're not going to go on level 7. But of course, stick around with maybe 1, 2, 3. For the sake of this Let's Play, we're going to do everything on 4.0 difficulty. It's right in the middle, and of course, it allows us to fight the final boss within the game. So, let's jump on to 4.0 difficulty, and let's do this. I'm excited. It's fun. Fun stuff. Uh, good old Spring Stadium. So, live from Spring Stadium, the vigor, the bounce, the excitement of the ARMS Grand Prix is upon us. And who else would be here to share in this action-packed event but your buddy Biff? Hey, Biff. Excitement's building as everyone waits to see the famous Springman spring into action. Uh, he's the epitome of smooth. In fact, I've never seen one strand of his pompadour fall out of place. Ah, uh, more to the point, the bouncer is determined to take down the legendary champion Max Brass. His hobbies include weightlifting and pizza. Will he do it? Can he do it? Stay tuned. The Arms Grand Prix begins any minute now. Okay, I'm excited for it. So, match one, we're going to do ten matches, and of course, it's best of three. So, we're going to do the best that we can. Alright, match number one, let's bounce. It's Springman versus the Silver Screen Queen Twin Tell. Her signature parasol arms can deflect light attacks. Keep raining punches, and you'll land some eventually, though. Okay, thanks for the advice, Biff. All right, so his generic default loadout, pretty decent. Toaster is great, 130 power for a charged hit. Boomerang has some good curve to it. Not a big fan. Uh, and then Tribal is pretty decent too. It has uh, three shots that go horizontal. So we're gonna go with Toaster and Tribal for this one, and we're gonna see how we do. So let's go. Now, one of the things that you wanna do in ARMS is you want to pay attention to uh, charging up your entire punches. And you don't wanna be left uncharged. Uh, just like these punches that I'm doing right here. So make sure that everything is charged. Now ways that you can charge up is if you do a dash attack. Woo, good grab, good grab, girlfriend, dang. If you do a dash attack, you can get a charge. If you jump and completely land, you can get a charge as well. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Dash attack, do that. Ooh, another good grab, dang. And you gotta watch out for grabs too. If you extend out both your punches, you'll see like a little green, um, I don't know, a little animated effect come out at you. Alright, so that's one of the pro tips too, is that if you see something coming your way, you can easily deflect it with your rush attack. Which is so good. Ooh, whoa, 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 that was like a three hit combo, girl, what are you doing? Alright, all we need is one more hit. So, it doesn't have to be- ooh, it doesn't have to be charged up. What is she doing? What? The arm went over her! What is going on? Ah, and I'm down. Good job. GG's. Ooh, what? Oh my gosh, that was really close for our first round. Dang. Now, see, what's great about Springman is that when he's under 25% health, all of his arms will be permanently charged. So you gotta keep that in mind. All right, not bad, not bad, we'll take it. And I don't know if you guys noticed that uh, whenever I'm done with uh, charging up, ooh, wow, that's bad. Whenever I'm done charging up, there's a little shock wave that happens, a little blue shock wave. 
that happens. And that's real it's really cool because that helps deflect attacks. Oh my gosh, wow. Uh, what can we do against her? What can we do? Wow, she's really good at jumping out of the way and grabbing, I'll tell you that much. Oh, uh, I tried, I tried, I tried. That did not work out. Let's do some grabs, right? Let's do some grabs. We haven't been grabbing as much. I try not to, but... Alright, so I'm kind of in my... Uh, I'm in my zone right now. We're in the desperation. Desperation range. Let's see if we can get something. We can make this comeback. Okay, so now I'm out of desperation because I was able to heal a little bit from the item that fell from the from the from the top there. Little robo dude comes and drops off some items sometimes. All right, all we need is one hit. Okay, easy, easy. We got her. Okay, not too bad, right? Not too bad. Just be mindful of your opponents. Uh, you can jump in midair. You can dash in midair to kind of mix it up. Um, you can charge up your punches, let them loose, and just go from there. So it's going to be really fun. So moving on, ladies and gentlemen, moving on. Match number two against Min Min. Min Min's cool. I would definitely say she's a top tier character. Have you guys seen my tier list video? I hope you guys have. I spent a lot of time working on it. Go watch it. There's a little eye in the top corner. Click on that. You'll see it. And uh, it's going to be great. I, I rank all the characters in the game, their special abilities, their mobility, their power output. I rank them all in a very cool tier list. All right, so here we go. This is Min Min. Now, what's great about Min Min is the fact that she can indeed bust out the Megawatt, which is a heavy arm. And not too many characters, at least that are lightweight and mobile, have access to heavy arms. So she's very good with that. Oh, good grab. Right through me. Right through me. That's okay. Alright, now we do see the Shock Bomb out there. Nice. Shock Bomb, I think, did something to her? I don't know. Maybe. Nice. That fully charged uh, little toaster was pretty good. Okay, so now we do have to be aware because she's got her special. And she can unleash it at any given time. But, of course, she didn't. So she's going to save it for the next match. And that's one of the strategies, too, whenever you're playing the game, is if you already know that you're going to lose this match, there's no point in wasting your rush attack. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can bust this out. Oh, good grab. See, that's really good. And one of the things that you want to do while you're playing arms is you don't want to be too predictable with your movements. Like, usually what I do is I jump, dash, and then do left-right. But with that, you don't want to be too predictable. Oh, man, we both initiated at the same time. How crazy is that? Wow. Oh, man, I got burned by that dragon just point blank. Oh, twice. All right, Min Min, she's doing very well. I'm down but not out, right? That's, that's my ability, is down but not out desperation. I don't have to charge my attacks. I can just launch them. And if she wants to, she can indeed break me. Whoa, easy there, Min Min. Got her, got her, got her, go. Oh my gosh. No. Yes, down but not out. Oh my gosh, that's so good. That's so good. Desperation, baby, desperation. Anyway, so yeah, that's what's great about Spring Man is that you may be on your last leg, but you know what? You can make a comeback. You just focus on it, find the little openings, just keep on throwing punches so you gain even more rush meter, and you're set. You're good to go. So that was decent. That was very decent. All right, moving on. Match three, always a fun one uh, against Helix, the man of mystery. Now, Helix is an interesting character. Um, oh, it looks like we're playing volleyball here. So pers first person to five points wins. You can uh, throw a grab at the volleyball, and then once it spins up to its peak, it'll flash like red, and then you can punch it again for like a super spike. And that's really the strategy that you want to do. And if you have any arms that can reach over to the other side, you want to focus on those as well. We're gonna go with straight up 
regular arms and uh, hopefully just win. I don't know. Okay, that's. I mean, you don't want to set up on the first uh, the first hit over here because simply put, if you set at the beginning, you might actually allow your opponent to get the hit. So right over here, I'm gonna wait. Oh gosh, here we go. Set and then hit. I didn't do it perfect, but you did see it flash a little bit. So that's exactly what you want to wait for. Oh wow, that was like an angled shot. Pretty crazy. All right, here we go. We're gonna set, and I'm gonna punch. Oh, that was okay. That was okay. Set, oh wow, he hit, totally hit on my side. Boom! Now, if the ball takes too many hits, it will explode on one side of the battlefield. So keep that in mind. All right, so we almost swept him. Oh man, and of course, once the timer runs out, it breaks exactly whatever side it's on. So, in hindsight, I shouldn't have set right there, but it doesn't matter because we already beat him. It's all good. All right, enough with the mini games. Come on, let's fight. Let's 1v1. And that's what happens in Grand Prix is that you go through a couple battles, you play a mini game. Go through a couple more battles, another mini game. So, keep that in mind. All right, here we go. The student of stealth, Ninjara, he's a great character. He has the ability to teleport around a lot. Uh, instead of shielding and taking the five damage every time you uh, shield with him, he teleports to the side. So he saves out on that damage. And he's got a pretty good loadout with that shock room. So I'm going to go with the same old tri-bolt and toaster combo. And let's see how we do. All right, so yeah, he also has a tri-bolt. But his is explosive. So I gotta keep that in mind, I gotta watch out for him. Oh man, dude, Ninjara with the teleport grab, man, he's really good. Yep, just sidestep away and then grab. You know, and that's cool, that's a defensive way to play the game. There's nothing wrong with it. That's all the damage he's done to me, just grab. Ah! <laughs> Every time! I'm a sucker for it. Ooh! Alright, down but not out. Let's go. 130. I'm in my fury range. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we can do about this guy. Alright, I'm gonna keep my distance from him because every- Oh man, that's lame. And see, what happened there was a weight difference. My tri-bolt is really, really light. So if I shoot it out and he shoots a medium weight, a slightly heavier arm, that arm is gonna take priority and go through my arm. So, I'm gonna go with two medium arms. Forget the light arm. I gotta mix it up a little bit here. All right, so now that we got the boomerang, uh, let's let's see how good it is. All right, you did see right there that he was able to dodge out of the way. Oh my gosh, a super wide grab. And I landed in it somehow. Okay, well, I was holding shield, but either way. Dude, Ninjara's rocking me right now. I don't have anything against him. You see that. You see him just teleporting right through my stuff there, right? Okay, not bad, not bad. Let's go. Oh my gosh, wow. Totally turned the grab around on him. I knew something like that was coming, so I had to definitely move out of the way. All right, so now we know his his, uh, his rush meter is completely full. And we can punch through any of his stuff. Oh my gosh, go! A 155, not bad. That's like the equivalent of a grab. That didn't hurt at all. That hurt, though. There we go, got him, got him. Okay, initiating your rush meter as soon as you see an opportunity. 
And whenever an arm is coming at you, you can initiate the rush meter, and you'll see a little pink spark happen, and that means that you've successfully uh, negated that arm coming at you. Okay, so he's got the Chakram right now. And Chakram's good. It has some good curve to it. So it's kind of like the equivalent of a boomerang, right? Oh man, come on, grabs. I gotta punch through grabs too, and that's one of the things that I, I neglect to do at times. Is just saving one arm, so in case a grab is coming at you, you punch through it, just like that. Oh, yeah. Uh. Boom, big old toaster. He ate that one. Oh, and I'm eating this one. Alright, I thought that he would be... There we go, got him. So, also, what you want to do is whenever... Whenever someone extends both their arms out, you do want to capitalize on that. Because once their arms are out, they can't shield. So, I saw that, I jumped up in mid-air, did my special, and we're set. So, we did lose a round. Not that big of a deal, but... We were able to learn and kind of adapt, and that's kind of what you have to do in arms, too. You have to observe your opponent, especially if you guys are playing against human players. You'll easily pick up on patterns. Anyway, right over here is Kid Cobra. Very cool character. He's the fastest character in the game. He's got the farthest side jump. And he's got the ability to charge up and do three super fast dashes. So we've got to watch it. We gotta definitely watch him. He's gonna go with a medium and a light. That means I'll go with a medium and a light. Oh wow, that was right over him. Alright, so now what's what's gimmicky about this level is that the snake boards, which are these little Beyblade looking things, you really want to be on top of these as soon as you can. Because this gives you a mobility advantage, it gives you a height advantage when you jump with it, and of course, and you need those advantages, especially when fighting against this one. Oh, come on. Ow, oh, he's got the second strongest grab in the game. It hurts. All right, so I'm going to usurp his. He's going to go get his own. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's do this. Come here, dude. Oh, man, right when I press the trigger. And be careful, because the springboards can actually take the punches away. Like, they'll take the hit for your opponent. So just be, don't, yeah, don't be in the middle of them. How about that? Ready? Are you gonna do this, or what? Come on, let's go. Let's go, Kid Cobra. On top of these snake hordes. Alright. So we're doing pretty decent. Here we go, we're gonna do the same loadout. He's gonna go double Coolerang here. I can, I can tell that. Now, Ice Elementals in the game are really not that great. I mean, yeah, it sounds cool on paper. You get to, oh, I get to freeze my opponent. But in reality, you'd much rather use an electric type so that you can disable their arms and then have a potential way of um, knocking them out. Oh, dang it, 165, that's nothing. But I do need to get on top of this thing. All right, I have not attacked him at all. Here we go. You can see how annoying this could be, right? Just bouncing around on these stupid little things. Not bad, not bad. Ooh, got his arm, nice. Okay, whenever you see that little red exclamation mark, that means that one of his arms got disabled. Either it got clipped by one of the arms that are coming at him or something like that, or maybe it got hit by an electrical uh, elemental or attribute. So I just gotta keep on aiming for that side of his arm so that it gets disabled, and you can, yeah, there we go. You can totally capitalize. Oh, a bomb right behind me. Unbelievable. Okay, now things are a little scary. Done. Oh, what? Disabled! Boom, get disabled. All right. And of course, your arms do get disabled if you, if you shield too much, so be very careful about that. Anyway, here we go. Spring a wing. Springman. Yeah, Springman's pretty cool. He's a cool dude. Alright, moving on. Match number six. Bark and bite. Bite and bark. 
Bite and Bark. Okay, so this dynamic duo uh, brings like a 2v1 to the table, or a 1.5v1. Because little old Bark, this little dog over here, he just kind of randomly scoots about and like throws one punch at you. And Bark can easily jump on top of him, get the height advantage, uh, use Bark to take a punch that's incoming towards him and retaliate because of it. He's really good, but I guess we're not fighting and we're just doing target practice. So I've got the advantage in target practice because I've got the arms that uh, have pretty good range, I want to say. Ow, dude! Alright, so I'm already losing. Here we go. Ow! Oh, oh, he's got a dog. That's not fair. Okay, so maybe this arms loadout is not so good. Ah! Alright, let's see. 18 seconds. Can I turn the tide? No, of course not! 1v1 me, Bark and Bite. Come here. Alright, yeah, I totally lost this one. He did pretty decent against me. Um, I opted to go with the Light Arms because it has more spread, more width, but he was able to punch through some of them, and I really wasn't focused. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Rematch. Same arms. I should be able to combo my arms against Bark. And the Bark is just easy KO points, right? Alright, I just need to pay attention. Whenever they come out, just focus on them. You can see them kind of poke up a little bit. And then always aim for Bark. Oh my gosh, that's so many points! Give me that one. Oh no, look at all those points I just gave away. Oh, never mind, I made it back. No, we got this, come here. Easy, right? I don't even need that one. Done. 2,000, man. Get off my court. Give me this extra hit. Give me this extra hit. Get out of here. Anyway, target practice, ladies and gentlemen. If you have arms that have more little bullets, go for those. And always pay attention to what your foe on the other side is doing. Never know when he's going to throw a double arm grab at you and just fling you to the side. Anyway, here's another top tier character. Uh, the Ribbon Girl. Really awesome. She is great because she has the ability to jump around in mid-air multiple times. And although that sounds pretty okay on paper, it's amazing. It's amazing in the game. Stay tuned to the next episode. We'll show you all about Ribbon Girl. No, I did not want that. But we're going to have to deal with it now. Alright, so I do not like the boomerang. I'm gonna go on record saying that now. It's 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 cool that it curves, yes. And that was kind of cool. Like that. It's like it just curves around. I want a straight punch. There we go. Disable her. Knock her out. Oh wow. Okay, the gimmick with her stage is that you can punch through all these bricks. And sometimes the bricks have items in them, such as bombs, recovery, all that fun stuff. Alright, I was going to use my special right there. But I only need one punch, so I might as well save the special for next round. Ouch, wow. Yeah, I do like the Tri-Bolt. I do. The Tri-Bolt's pretty cool because it does it does go pretty far, but it's not as good as uh, Ninjara's version. Look at that, 325 just gone. Alright, did she make a comeback? No, she didn't. I'm not gonna let her. No way. Anyway, 
So yeah, there's a Ribbon Girl for you. Uh, just keep your distance. Just keep your distance. We're gonna keep on going Tribal, and I'm gonna go Toast here. There we go. Just wait for her to attack, and then attack. Right? It's a defensive playstyle. No. Oh. oh, oh. What are you doing to me? And that's an advanced strategy too, is if you see someone that just always punches, you can easily shield parry them. Oh man, I was about to do it. You can shield parry them, uh, which is called like insta-guarding or something like that. Uh, and by doing so, you can dash out of shield and go a little bit closer. Ow, what just happened? All right, so we're in the healing right now. Not bad, not bad. I need like one more hit. Okay, good. Now I'm gonna be in fury range, which is fun. Desperation, baby. No! Oh, oh, oh! I'm down, I'm down. I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go! Oh man, she shielded it. No! I thought I'd catch her. Nice, nice! Desperation punch, just out of nowhere. Boom, for 130 damage. That's just about as much power as a grab. A grab is 150. The uh, toaster fully charges 130, so that's really good. Anyway, moving on. Here we go, match eight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm excited for it. It's against Mechanica. Mechanica! She's okay. I mean, she's... Uh, in my tier list, I place her a little bit lower. Simply because she's bulky. She's got that super armor that may not be as good. Uh, and her movement is just too... It's too slow compared to the other characters. So, anyway. Mechanica, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa, whoa. What do you know? There we go. Take that little hit. I got nothing to curve around these pillars. And she's got the Seeky that does so. So I gotta watch out. Oh! That's strong. Ow, what are we doing here, Mechanica? Don't make me rethink my tier list! <laughs> Come here! I want to use this, like... Yeah, that's what I wanted, right there. I want to use the little shockwave attack. It's pretty cool. Alright, so now she's using her heavy arm against me. Give me that! You can't have it! See, like, oh, I'm t oh my gosh, wow. 200 damage for that. Wow. Dude, what is going on? There we go, yeah, super armor that, girl. Oh, that blew me up from behind, no! All right, down but not out, yeah! Desperation punch. All right, so, What's great about her sea keys is that, yes, they have an explosion at the end, but they're really slow. They're slow, man. Anyway. Oh, yeah, dude, just saw that and curved a punch right at her. Alright, you gonna play that way? Come here. Punch right through that grab coming at me. Oh, big grab. Big grab. Oh, explosions. Out. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> I was trying to bait out the grab. I honestly was. Yeah, look at that. From so far. Ooh, two of them. Oh, gosh. That's a lot of damage. 415. Are you crazy? Yeah, where are your arms at, girl? Where are your arms at? Boom! I love it. When you see someone just carelessly put out both their arms when someone has a charged rush meter. I love it. It's like breakfast. Just eat it up. Anyway, moving on. So that's cool. Good job, Spring Man. We're on the semifinal right now. What's going to happen? Who are we going to fight? Hey! It's Master Mummy. Now... <laughs> He's the lowest on my tier list, simply because he's so slow. But you know what? A skilled Master Mummy can beat any Min Min. Mark my words on that. Tier list, man. So, he's got super armor. 
He's got a 200 power grab. And he's not using his Megaton arm, which is interesting. Okay, you saw that he, how he insta shielded right there. There we go. I'm just gonna just gonna keep toast. Just gonna keep toasting. And I guess we're going to watch out for that. There we go. Oh gosh, the birds, man, the birds. Dude, Master Mummy is for the birds. Uh, this guy wants to fight with some birds? Come here. Oh my gosh, his birds are actually attacking me. Give me this grab! Give me this chain grab! Whoa, hold on, what? Oh man, dude, you can actually do a chain grab in this game, which is pretty cool. Come on, Master Mummy. Oh, he's still going for that grab. He knows. He knows that all he needs is one, one or two grabs and he's done. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> that just comes to show. It's like, hey, you got your special? Okay, you aimed it in the wrong direction. Big deal. Calm down a little bit. Just turn it over and then go. He's still going for double Phoenix, which is interesting. Oh gosh. Well, there goes 350 health. I'm just done. Oh my gosh, the combo of left right is not gonna work on this guy. His arms are just too heavy. And I gotta keep my distance on him. Because of those birds, man. Yeah. Oh my gosh, two birds. Okay, dude, come on. Whoa. Oh my gosh. All right, here we go. Fury. Down but not out. Just got to focus on these uh, toaster hits. Ooh! I got to go in for the KO. Oh, come on! <laughs> I pressed it before. I saw him flinch. And then I saw him flinch, and then I pressed it, but it was a little bit too late. All right, so now he's going to do some different arms. You can see this here. He's got the revolver, which is awesome. It's a very powerful, like, three-hit arm. See, now you got to watch out. You got to watch out when you're over here against him. Don't go into the pit. If you go into the pit, you can't shield because you're constantly bouncing. Ooh, 110 and 70 afterwards. Ow! As I say, don't go into the pit and I go into the pit. Oh my goodness, here we go. Okay, well, that's a little bit. And here's a little parting gift from yours truly. No, it didn't happen. Oh my gosh, that arm so slow. Yeah, just like that one. Boop, curve it. Whoop, one hit. Oh my gosh, wow, 130 just gone. Oh my gosh, 110 just gone. This guy. You see how defensive he's playing? I'm done! This guy beat me! <laughs> I wasn't even thinking, come on! And I say he's like the lowest tier, but I mean, I told you, any skilled Master Mummy can beat any character. Anyway, um, Tribolt... Tribolt's cool, but I mean, this loadout, this default loadout is just not so great. There we go. Ah, oh, 110 just gone. I'm gonna keep on trying to hit that one arm of his. It's almost disabled. There we go. Disabled arm, but didn't capitalize on it, unfortunately. Got him. And I'm gonna stay right here into this healing. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. It's so intimidating, these punches. 
I have a feeling that when I throw the, like, the, the Rush Tribolt, it feels like some of them are just like veering off to the side, doing their own thing. I'm like, come on, man. Aim. There we go, just 130, gone. Okay, so that's what's bad. Ow, what the? That's what's bad about the lightweight arms is that they get punched through. Oh man, at least I healed a lot from that. I think he healed a little bit too. Oh my gosh. 350, gone. And you see, I tried to do the insta shield right there, but I was just terribly aligned. I just need like one more HP, and I'm I'm almost in my fury range. Okay, I think I'm in Fury now. No, I'm not. I have like one, I'm like 26%. What? Okay, good. Good. My stray arm that I did there, it was just kamikaze. Boom, both of us hit each other. I had more health, so we were good. Yeah, that was an awkward position to be in. I was at like 26% health. I'm like, come on, dude. Where's my desperation ability? Anyway, here we go. This is Max Brass. He is the... Um, let's call him the final boss, shall we? He's insane. He's like Springman on steroids. He's he's really insane. He's got a grenade punch. He's got another. He's got the hammer, just like um, Mechanica does. And he also has a shockwave ability, like Springman, that he can deflect stuff with it really quick. So I'm gonna go with um, I'm gonna go with Boomerang and Toaster on this one. All right, Toaster did okay against him. Ouch, but you see that right there? Like the heavyweight of the hammer just plowed right through my boomerang. So this is indeed gonna be a hard battle. All right, so I do have a free special meter. And I say free because we just got it from that one power-up that happened. Nice, got him. Sweet! 375, not bad. Oh my god, get this guy out of here! Okay, shield grab. Done. He's got a super. Hold on, hold on. We're not down. We're not done yet. Okay, good. Just snuck a little uncharged arm right past him. All right, pretty easy. You can see how like big he's getting though. He's insane. He's insane. What? What the heck was that? Oh my god! Oh help! Easy 150, just gone. There we go. 130, just right through it. Get me, yes, get me in here while I grab him and then continue charging up. Okay, you can see how buff he's getting now, right? I don't know what that means. Like, is he stronger? Does his punches, like, do more damage? I don't know. I don't want to find out either. He's not a character that's playable as of yet, so... Oh, God. Wow, 150 just gone. Ouch, the explosions of his arms. No way! He just cancelled mine out. And cancelled my punch out. Ah, come on. There we go, 130 for, for free. I'll take it. Goo! Okay, I do have my Fury, which is great. Nice! Ooh, oh! Ho. 10 seconds, I gotta get one punch. 
Oh, man, come on. The little explosion off the hammer. This guy's insane. Come on. Let's go. Let me in. All right. Jump again. See what happens. Ouch. Jump again. And what's great about if you see your opponent jumping a lot, you can easily catch him with a with a uh, with a rush attack. All right, so I'm gonna heal up while I do my rush attack, which is great. So that was good. It was a good use of a rush. I'm just trying to curve these little baby shots over to him. Oh my gosh. He's all one punch. Completely blocked it with the pink little aura off of your rush. And then, boom. He's got me. Get this guy! One HP! Thank you. Wow. Alright, that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, we did it. This guy's insane. All right. Question for you. What's Springman's favorite season? <laughs> Winter. Duh. Anyway, what is going on? Oh, look at this. What is happening? Hmm. Boom. Uh, enter headlock. Now, some of you guys have seen Headlock, if you guys have been paying attention to the global test fire. Headlock is some sort of alien metallic skull that latches onto a character and gives them an additional four arms. Which is insane. You can come across him in versus, multiplayer, so on and so forth. But now, we get to fight him on top of Max Brass. If you thought that Max Brass was hard, boy, you guys are in for a tough one. This is an insane battle. All right, here we go, Springman. Let's bounce this bad boy, and the championship belt is all mine. All right, so, wow, I don't know how we're gonna do this. I'm gonna go with two toasters. I think that's what I have to do. So with Headlock, you do wanna watch out because he will unleash an entire barrage of punches at you. So you need to keep your distance. If you're lucky, what you can do is actually counter his grenade punches and explode them up which I've done at least twice in this battle so far. That's really what you want to focus on. And use the items to your advantage and just keep your distance. Of course, no arm can go full screen, but just try your best. There we go. I love the toaster as a special. It's just so straightforward. There's nothing to worry about. Oh, he just short hops over them? Come on. There we go, there we go. We took this much health against him. That was pretty good. I don't know if that was a fluke or if it's just me used to playing against Headlock, I don't know. Oh, he just, oh, and he's got like some crazy spirit bomb attack. Oh my gosh, and when he throws his grab, he throws three sets of grabs. Oh my goodness. All right, keep your distance, keep your distance. All right, here we go. I tried to initiate it. Go, 340, easy, right? Wow, wow, his punches are countering mine. Boom, 130, right as he was taunting. Ah, I got disabled. Oh, it's okay, it's okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. Oh, nice, I blew up his own arms. Oh gosh, that hurts so much. The only thing that I think I could beat him with is if I just, oh my gosh, if I keep on throwing punches and get my special meter going. Speaking of special meter, help! 
Oh my gosh, do not let it explode on you. It hurts so much. Got it! Right here. Yes! Oh my goodness. Woo! Alright, we did it. I saw his arms come in. I'm like, okay, I can cancel them out by just triggering and then just knocking them out. Ladies and gentlemen, that is how you beat the game on 4.0 difficulty. Good job. And we're going to get 60 arms uh, to boot. That's pretty cool, right? Let's watch the ending and call it an episode, shall we? All right. During a routine experiment at Arms Laboratories, there is an unexpected what? That light, is everyone okay? Is Max going to be okay? Whoa, it's gone. What was that thing? Where did it come from? And will it be back? I don't know. Gizmo. Hey, dude. You... Perfect timing, buddy. You get to watch the ending with me. Hey, everyone. It's Gizmo. On the first episode of the Let's Play. Good job, dude. Good job, buddy. We beat him. We beat him, Gizmo. Let's go get our belt, and we'll see the ending, and call it a day. It'll be fun. Good job, Gizmo. Good job. So what did you guys think? Did you guys learn some tips? Hopefully you guys did. Now keep in mind, we do have a full-on tips and tricks playlist. We've got the full playlist where we're going to beat the game with every single character, so you can learn a little bit more about them. And of course, we do have that awesome tier list video that I made, so watch all of that fun stuff. And do it for Gizmo. Thumbs up. You want to give me a kiss, buddy? No? No, you're hungry. That's probably dinner time. New Grand Champion, we did it. We did it, Gimme. He sprang it top and bounced a champ. Congratulations. No? Okay, fine. Don't do it on camera. You always kiss me off screen. Mm. All right. All right, Gizmo. See you next time, Gizmo. All right, I'll let you go, buddy. Thanks for coming. Ugh. All right, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Arms for Nintendo Switch. That's exactly how you get the end credits. End credits will continue to roll. Uh, at the very end of the Let's Play, the very last episode, we'll show all the full-on credits. We'll talk about the game and everything that we liked and we disliked about it. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, let's press uh, plus to skip. And what we have here... Thanks, everyone. Time to unwind. ...is the ending. All right, all right. Go easy on it. It's just one screen that says, thanks for playing. Could it have been an animated cutscene? Absolutely. Do I feel sad that this is all we get? Sure. Anyway, uh, what you want to take a look at is you want to look out for Biff. You know, the little announcer guy with the hand on his uh, head? Yeah, he's in every single one of these end screens, so keep an eye out for him. Looks like uh, Ribbon Man, I mean Spring Man, <laughs> Spring Man has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven belts. Uh, he's got some pretty cool socks on, and all of his fans had the little curl, just like him. And if you guys didn't already notice, whatever characters are playing, if you take a look at the NPCs that are cheering in the back, they all have some sort of hairpiece that kind of matches them. It's kind of cool. So anyway, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We uh, Now we can fight in ranked matches, challenge other players, and put your arm skills to the test to find out who's the best. That's the only unlocked. Rank match is only unlocked if you play the Grand Prix and beat it at least once on 4.0 difficulty. So keep that in mind. We've got 63 coins in order to get some arms, but of course I've shown you all of that in the uh, in the other Tips and Tricks playlist. We don't have to get them on screen right here. This is already a 46, 47 minute video. Well, there you have it. The end of episode one. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want even more arms, definitely take a look at the playlist right on screen over here. You can check out the newest video on my channel and definitely take a look at some Tips and Tricks videos right over that way. Now, make sure that you guys are subscribed, like the video, leave a comment, of course, take a look in the description below for even more links on how you can improve your odds of winning a copy of the game. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.